My name's Jo and my connection to the hospice is through my sister Kate Pearson who was diagnosed with advanced bowel cancer when she was 31. She, she was in for about 10 weeks, we went home in the middle of that but then we came back. My name's uh, Malcolm Eastwood, um, referred to the hospice through uh, my MS nurse at the Hallam's Hospital uh, to try and treat the pain condition that I suffer with uh, secondary progressive MS. My mum was referred to the hospice. She'd been suffering with a brain tumour, lung cancer and a kidney cancer. And also my cousin came here when unfortunately we were told that there was nothing else that could be done for her. She was suffering with esophagus cancer. This place is just fantastic. They just welcomed us with open arms and they were just became an extended family really. I came thinking that it was going to be doom and gloom and I couldn't have been so wrong. It's not a hospital environment. It's as though you're in your own front room and there's nobody to pressurise you. It's just an amazing place. It's just full of warmth, friendship, love. And so like the level of care that you receive, both the patient and the family and friends, the support is just absolutely unbelievable. The hospice means such a lot to us. They were here at such an important time, probably the hardest time of his, any of his lives. My name's Julie Ferry. I'm the chief executive here at the hospice. The Comfort and Care campaign aims to raise over £200,000 to enable us to transform our patient bedrooms. This will allow us to have specialist equipment, special decor, calming and peaceful rooms for the patients and their families. The room refurbishments uh, will make a big difference uh, because then it becomes a, a lot more like home. You can spend a lot of time here and the room becomes your home really and um, the hospice becomes your whole world. We need to update them, get them to a level that you feel like you're more at home, that, so you can just relax. And the nicer the environment is, the more relaxed you are. And it makes it a lot easier for the family, um, with the environment of it being like home, uh, to come visiting. Then they feel as though they're not in a hospital environment, and it's just, it's, a lot better environment for them to be in. A lot of people do not realise uh, what the hospice does for people. So we just need to, as a town, just raise as much money as we can so we can develop these rooms. All the money that hospice gets, you really can see where it goes. It's touching more and more people's lives, the hospice. The focus is on living, so you know, you need the environment and it makes such a huge difference to the patients and the families. And make it an even more amazing place for people to spend time. The transformation will make an incredible difference to our patients and their families. We need you to donate anything that you can towards this special appeal 